Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to solve an equation here which says solve for x in x power 6 plus 7 x power 3 minus 8 equals to 0. As we can see the equation is not quadratic, it is not linear, it is not a uh, cubic but uh, x power 3 is appearing twice. Therefore, we can let x power 3 can let x power 3 to be a certain unknown say t for instance therefore at this point when we factor out x power t you realize it is x power 3 which has been squared plus 7 x power 3 minus 8 equals to 0. Therefore, wherever we have x power 3, now we can have t. So that in the first term, we will have t squared plus 7t minus 8 equivalent to 0. So we can solve now this one as a quadratic equation whereby t power 2 plus 7t equals to 8 becomes positive. But now we can add a constant at both sides. A constant which is given by b out of 2 squared. So that we may complete the square. So 7 out of 2 squared will become 49 out of 4. And also this side 49 out of 4. Therefore we can factorize this side to have t plus 7 out of 2 squared equals to when we take 8. And we add 49 out of 4. We're going to have 81 out of 4. 81 out of 4. Therefore, square root of both sides, t plus 7 out of 2 equals to plus or minus 9 out of 2 when we take square root. Therefore, the value of t is either going to be 9 out of 2 then I add or subtract 3.5 the value is either going to be 1 or t is going to be negative 4.5 minus 3.5 and this becomes negative 8 yeah, that becomes negative 8. So these are the two values of t. But remember, whatever we had let to be t is x power 3. Therefore, x power 3 equals to 1. x power 3 equals to 1. And also, x power 3 equals to... <coughs> this is equals to negative 8. So we can express both sides to the same base or make this, the both sides have the same power whereby x power 3 in the first term is equal to 1 power 3. Now that the powers are the same, it means we can equate the bases whereby we can conclude that x is equivalent then to 1. Uh -huh. On the other side, x power 3 equals to negative 2 also power 3. If negative 2 power 3 is the same as x power 3, these powers are the same. Therefore, we can conclude that the value of x is equivalent to negative 2. Thank you for following. Subscribe and share.